Hello there, welcome to Australia. My name is Dan, and today I'm plant hunting in the Flinders Ranges. This is a very unusual place, so it's great to come here and look for plants and collect seeds. Plants grow in many different places and here they can choose where they like most. If they can grow in moist, cool, damp places like this where it's shady, or they can grow in open, dry areas where it's sunny. Oh wow! There are so many plants here! And Dan is right. Some of them like shady places and some of them like to be out in the sunshine. Where a plant grows is called its habitat, Lily. You're right, Ash. And if you have a good look, you'll see that plants are quite different depending on where they live. Their leaves, stems and roots can be all sorts of different shapes, colours and textures. Really? Let's go and have a look around. No matter where you are, whether you're at home or here in Australia, you'll always find plants with pretty flowers. But have you ever wondered what happens to the flowers next? Well, some flowers like these produce a small dry fruit, while other plants produce this fruit that's soft and juicy. The fruits will then produce seeds. You can see the seeds in this plant here. Seeds can be soft and juicy, or small and hard like these ones. But no matter what they look like, all seeds grow into brand new plants. Seeds can grow in all sorts of places if the conditions are right, which is another way of saying that seeds grow in the right habitat. It's amazing that all the information needed to make a plant is inside this tiny little seed. How does the plant fit in there? Seeds need lots of things to grow, but most importantly, they must have water. Then they can grow all of the different plant parts. First the roots, then the stem and leaves, and eventually flowers, which develop into fruits containing seeds. But how are plants able to grow in so many different places? There isn't much water where it's warm and dry. Yeah, we're wearing sun hats so we don't get too hot. What can plants do? Where is done? I'm sure he will be able to show you. Ah, here we go. Grasses are very special plants that can survive almost anywhere, from down by the sea to up here on the mountain. And here where it's dry and windy, they can survive by having very long thin leaves and deep narrow roots. So quite often the plants up here have very small leaves, or like this plant, they're very long, thin and very hard. This helps them to save water. Under the shade of these trees, it can be damp and even a bit moist. This bush is sometimes called water bush. And you'll notice something different about the plants that grow in this shade. They have leaves that are quite broad and soft. This plant can afford to have nice, large green leaves because it grows in this damp, moist habitat. So it doesn't need to save water. Every time I collect seeds, I write down exactly where I collect them from. 
I'd also like to describe the habitat where these plants grow, like here where it's moist and damp. So I know where the seeds came from, I'll take a piece of the plant and press that plant I'll also write down in my book exactly where this plant actually grew. This is really important if you want to grow the seed when you get home or send it to the Millennium Seed Bank. You'll know the seed needs water to grow, but it will help you remember if the plant likes the sun or the shade best. The leaves on the plant under this tree are really wide, so they catch all the sun in this shady spot. And in the sunshine, some leaves are long and thin, so they won't let much water out, just like Dan said. Let's collect some of their seeds and see if we can grow them back at home. I'll grow mine with lots of light and warmth, and you can grow yours in a cooler, darker place, Lily. But remember to write down where you found it, so you don't forget how to grow it again. We will, Joseph. I find it quite exciting to see plants growing in many unusual places, by the sea, on top of mountains, and deep inside forests. Plant hunters like me are always looking to learn new things about plants and where they live, and you can help too by discovering the new things around you. Look around and see if you can find some different habitats. Shady places, warm or windy places and even sandy places. See what different plants you can find. You might find funny shaped leaves or bright coloured flowers. You'll be amazed at what you can find. Mm -hmm.